What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial, let's get straight to the point. Today I'm going to show you how to do this awesome music video freeze frame effect from our latest music video Better Days. In case you haven't seen it already, here's the effect we're going to do today. Roll it. That's the effect, really simple but pretty effective, I really love it. Perfect for rock music videos or even hip hop. This grainy aesthetic, it's perfect. Let's jump right into Final Cut, you can of course also do this in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, but I'm gonna use the best editing software which is Final Cut Pro. I'm just kidding, but I like Final Cut and I'm gonna do it in Final Cut. So here we are in Final Cut, let's just quickly go through the sequence. So it's a video and then we're turning it into freeze frames with a lot of grain and this blue thing on the side. So let's do it from scratch, I'm gonna duplicate the clip by holding options and then dragging it to the side which leaves us with the original clip ungraded so I'm also gonna take this adjustment layer with our LUT and drag it on top of it so you just have you know the nicer colors it's the frost LUT on 0.6% I, I don't know where this LUT is from but it's a pretty nice LUT okay so how to do the freeze frame effect first we have to look for the part where we want our freeze frames to start so for me that's right when my hand closes on the microphone so I'm again holding options and dragging it upwards so we can duplicate the clip. Then we're trimming it to the part where we want the freeze frame to start. Highlight the clip and go to edit and add freeze frame. Click on it and we have this. The length of the freeze frame will depend on how much you have set it to. You can click on Final Cut Pro preferences and here you can change the still image. For me right now it's at four seconds but you can change it to 10 seconds or one frame. Four seconds is good enough. So then we again click on the point where we want the freeze frame to start and take this thing and this thing out of this nested, I don't know what it is, Final Cut always does this, I don't like it. Says he loves Final Cut and then complains about it. And then we drag the freeze frame back to where we left the cursor, which is right here. So it's holding a freeze frame. Then from this point, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four frames forward and then trim it to four frames. So our freeze frame is four frames. You can of course do it longer, shorter, but four frames is how I did it and I think it looks the best. I experimented a little bit with longer or shorter frames but I think four seconds or four frames looks the best. So after we have our freeze frame we take the rest of the clip that we still have left and line it up with the end of the clip. This is really important because we have to cut this thing out so that the clip starts again after the freeze frame is done. Then we highlight the rest of the clip again, again go to edit and add freeze frame and then we can just drag it out. This time we don't have to leave the cursor anywhere because we know we just have to line the freeze frame up with the last freeze frame. Then again go one, two, three, four frames forward and trim it to four frames. Line the rest of the clip up with the end, then trim it. Go to where the freeze frame transitions into the clip, highlight the clip again, go to edit, add freeze frame and then just repeat it for how long you want your freeze frame effect to be. For me that's just one, two, three, four just until the end of this little clip. So just two more times. Go to here, edit, add freeze frame, take it out of this thing, then one, two, three, four again, trim it to four frames, line the rest of the clip up with the end, trim it and go to edit, add freeze frame. And then we can delete the rest of the clip and just trim the last freeze frame to the four seconds or three seconds in this case, because the clip is ending here, but you could also extended one more frame so we have four frames again don't forget the LUT and then we already have this freeze frame effect already pretty cool but we're gonna spice it up a little first we look for an adjustment layer in the title section this one doesn't come with Final Cut again why am I complaining about Final Cut I just told you I loved it but there's a link where you can download a free adjustment layer for Final Cut down below in the description from Ryan Nangle he's an awesome guy so check him out not sponsored but you gotta have an adjustment layer so then we're gonna take this adjustment layer. You could also do it on the clip itself. You don't need an adjustment layer, but I like doing everything with adjustment layers because adjustment layers are just amazing. So we're going to highlight the adjustment layer and then go to scale and go to 110%. So it zooms in a little, then make a cut. So it's just above the first freeze frame. Then highlight the rest of the adjustment layer again and go to 120%, then make another cut over the third freeze frame and go to, you guessed it, 130%. And then just, you know, basically, I think you get the pattern repeated 
10% going inwards over the period of the freeze frame. So we have just a subtle zoom in. We could of course also do an adjustment layer over the entire freeze frames and then keyframe an animation from 100 to 150%. But in my opinion, that doesn't look that good because you kind of want to have the rough feeling that every freeze frame just punches in. And if you would do it with an animation, you know, you would have a subtle zoom in for every freeze frame over the period of the freeze frame. I think you get the point. And with this, you have this rough punching in for every new freeze frame, which is better in my opinion. Then to top it off, we just take ourselves some color grain. This one is from Ezra Cohen from the Dirty Letterboxes pack, which is an awesome pack. I can really recommend it. It costs something and I'm not associated with him, but it's, I just basically use it for every music video that I shoot. You have some awesome dirty letterboxes and you have some color grain and you also have some sun flares and film burns, which is amazing. So go check it out. I used the one called color grain fine hard light, which implies that you have to select hard light for it to work like a good grain. I'm gonna show you by dragging it over it. Normally it's of course set to normal, so it looks like this. And when you go to hard light, it's a little bit of noise, but not enough noise for me for this certain scene. So as you can see, I duplicated this one three times, or I duplicated it two times so that we have three times the hard light. So it already looks like this. But then I also took myself some color grain coarse hard light, also extended the one frame that we have added. And then we have this amazing effect. And then to really finish it off, I took the blue texture normal also from this pack dragged it over everything. I hope this isn't too fast because I'm just copying it over, but it's really simple. This one, I left it on normal because it already has an alpha channel, so you don't have to key anything out. And once we have done all that, you have something that looks like this. I think that looks pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more music video tutorials just like this. You can find another music video tutorial right here. We have the flicker effect and you can find the playlist with all tutorials right here and you can subscribe right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.